Hi, this is Joy. I am going on another road trip. As you can see, I'm supercharging back there. This place that I'm going to, it's called Cambria, and I actually went there exactly a year ago, and I did a video on it. Why am I doing another video today? Because this is going to be the very first road trip that I will be taking without my aero wheel caps on. So as you can see from the previous video, I decided to remove the aero wheel caps. So my efficiency and range would be at a loss for a little bit, but I don't know how much. And I want to do the best I can to document the loss of efficiency and range and share with you so you have an idea. Now, this is not a very scientific experiment. I just want to throw that out there because I have no benchmark for when I had the wheel cap on versus now I don't. So let me just do this. I have this trip card that is for the last 3,300 miles that I've driven that I have not reset. And the watt hour per mile, the driving efficiency has been 254. I've only driven my car without the aero wheel cap on for a day. And I think I drove maybe like 50 miles at most. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset that trip card so it's starting fresh and from this point on that is going to show the driving efficiency without the aero wheel caps on so then i can make somewhat of a guesstimate of how much range loss or how much efficiency that i am losing without those caps on i am going to go ahead and reset this and I'm actually going to rename this for the time being. No aero caps. So that we know. Save. I will get on the road shortly after I finish supercharging in 35 minutes. And I will check back with you guys. I have arrived at Solvang, which is my pit stop. This is like a little charming Danish town in California. I will show you some footage when I go walk around. I am going to grab some snacks and spend about an hour. It's like 81 degrees today. It's January. We're having a heat wave. This is ridiculous. But let me show you what my driving efficiency has been. So I've driven 126 miles so far and my average watt hour per mile is only 246. I thought that the efficiency would reduce quite a bit without the aero caps on, but it doesn't seem to be the case so far. I did Notice, however, that there was a stretch of highway when it was climbing uphill, and I drive that stretch pretty much every week. I did notice that the watt hour per mile went over 400, which I have never ever seen before. It would go up to maybe like 300, mid 300s, or high 300s, but it has never ever gone up to. 400s were over. So there's definitely some type of efficiency loss without the aero wheel caps. But on a road trip like this, it seems like everything is kind of evening out. But then again, I've only driven 126 miles so far, and it's a pretty warm day. So we'll see what happens throughout the trip. Whoa, bright. But I just arrived in Cambria actually Moonstone Beach in Cambria and this is a hotel that I stayed at a year ago and I'm back because they have really good rates right now during lockdown and also because there's a Tesla destination charger it's like right behind me now let's check out my 
driving efficiency. So after I left Sylvain, I drove about three miles to a supercharger nearby and I supercharged for about 10 minutes before I hit the road. So I've driven 97.5 miles since I charged and uh, actually let me turn this off, this is too bright. And my watt hour per mile average has been 284, which is a little bit higher than what my normal trip would be. Normally, I hover around 250, 260, so this is definitely a little bit more. And let's see the average. So, so far, I've driven 227 miles, and the average watt hour per mile is now 262 versus 254 from that 3,000 plus um, miles that I had accumulated with the aero wheel caps on. So let me go ahead and check in and uh, we'll continue with our trip. I am moving on to another hotel and this hotel actually has a supercharger in its parking lot, which is about maybe 45 to an hour away from here. But I want to show you my driving efficiency so far. Yesterday, I drove up Highway 1 to the outskirts of Big Sur. So there were a lot of really windy and hairpin turns like when I was at Yosemite. And um, I climbed hills and I also came down hills. And then I drove around town here in Cambria just like a mile, a mile and a half, two miles stop and go traffic. Um, so this is my driving efficiency so far. So far I've driven 291, 92 miles and my watt hour per mile is 263. And remember when I left with the last 3,000 miles with the aero caps on, it was averaging 254. So yes, this is definitely more or less efficient than when I had the aero wheel caps on, but I'm just gonna keep driving and I will keep documenting and sharing it with you guys. I'm supercharging right now and I am ready to hit the road and go home. So let's see how many miles I've driven so far without the aero caps on and what the efficiency is. So far I've driven 331 miles with 263 watt hour per mile efficiency. And it is slightly higher than the old average 254, but not by that much. So we'll see what happens at the end of this trip. And also just to share a personal tip, when I go on road trips, I actually most of the time charge up to 95%. I don't charge all the way to 100% because when you charge to 100%, or maybe even 97, 98, you will start losing that regen braking, which I hate. I want to keep my regen. So I found that charging to 95% on a road trip is my sweet spot for not losing that much regen. And also because once you go above 95%, that last few percentage of charging is going to take you so much longer to do because the supercharger is going to do trickle charge in order to protect your battery. So I know there are people that would charge up to 100%. Personally, I don't. I just charge to 95% so I don't lose the regen and I'm not going to spend another half an hour sitting here waiting for that last 5% to charge. So keep that in mind. I just got home and... I drove three hours straight for 185 miles and my watt hour per mile is only 246. I'm actually surprised. I thought that would be higher since I don't have the aero cabs on. 
And with this leg, I drove through the mountains and I also hit rush hour traffic coming into the LA area. So this is quite interesting. Now, let's check out the entire trip. So I drove for 516 miles and my watt hour per mile is only 257. Before this, with the aero caps on, my overall, the last 3,300 miles was 254 watt hours per mile efficiency. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys my lifetime watt hour per mile efficiency. So I've driven 23,000 miles and it was 261 lifetime watt hour per mile before I took off the Aerol wheel caps. So, hmm. But like I said, this is an unscientific experiment. And uh, so far, I am not seeing that big of a difference or big of that efficiency loss between having the aero wheel caps on and having it off. However, I'm going to continue to track this and I'm going to do an update video down the road when I hit 3,300 miles again without the aero caps on and see what the average watt hour per mile efficiency is. And I've been driving like normal there's no special behavior like driving slower. I like to drive kind of fast, like 80 miles per hour. So that's what I set the autopilot on most of the trip. So yeah, I am quite impressed so far. If you don't mind losing a bit of that efficiency and you want to have a sportier look to your Tesla Model 3, then I would say take off the aero wheel caps and don't look back. No need to spend that $1,500 upgrade to the sports wheels. Um, just buy the stock ones. Take off the caps and make it look sporty. I hope you enjoyed this video and that this is somewhat helpful. Again, not a scientific <laughs> experiment, but I should have a more scientific one down the road when I hit 3,300 miles without the caps on. So stay tuned. And next week's video is going to be the actual road trip that I went on. So stay tuned. Love you all. Thank you for watching and God bless.